Yeah, I'll come in. Jesse! Oh, how beautiful they are. Good. I'm glad you like them. Because they're for you. On your wedding day. Dressed yet? Yeah. Well, I should say you are. You look great. Sit out there. All right. I'm all right. Don't fret. Don't fret. Uh, I don't believe you're all right for a minute. Now, is that nice calling your father a liar on his wedding day? Huh? I'm sorry, Dad, but I know what you're going through. I know he must be in some pain. And Andrew. Lousy and distant. Let's, I'm just saying, let's let's face up to I it. Would let's deal up. with it. Let's. Will you listen to me? Let's have you lie down. I'll call Larry. This is my wedding you. day. Nothing is going to spoil it. Certainly not some routine aches and pains. Now, I do have occasional bad moment, but may I please count on you to help me through it and not let on? I'm not going to ruin this day for Vicky and certainly not my guests. You understand? Yes. Oh, thank you. Hey there, uh. General Carpenter, sir. Well, I have a surprise for you. Oh, yeah. All the way from Tidewater. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> oh. Bev. Hello. Oh, my good friend, I'm so glad you're here. I wouldn't have missed this day for anything. Oh, it's going to be quite a Thanksgiving this it year. It certainly will be. How are you doing? I'm fine. Never been better. And I'll dry the stems just before I walk down the aisle. Okay? Great. Oh, honey. You know something? If you and Joey and Kevin were being any nicer than you are, I, I, I don't, I don't know what I would do. Thank you. I know you weren't very happy when I decided to marry Sloan. Yeah. Well, um, that was a long time ago. And. Uh, <clears throat> It'll take some getting used to with him living in the house and everything, but I'm cool. Good. Cool is good. <laughs> yeah. I just want you to be happy. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. It's uh, been a real tough year for everybody. I know that. And it's not over yet, Jesse. So we have to try and make this the happiest and best Thanksgiving we've ever had, okay? Sounds good to me. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, oh, hi. Here's Jesse. Good. Okay. Now all three of us can give this to you. Oh. And maybe this time you can get a few laughs out. <laughs> Is this a scrapbook that yeah. you made? Oh. Uh, hey, check this one out. <laughs> Look at his haircut. It looks like he has no hair at all. You know, if you put some different clothes on him, he could be the lead guitar in a rock band in this one. I'll be sure and point that out. <laughs> oh, this is a great present. Yeah. Thank you so much. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, baby. I can't tell you what it means to me. I guess I'd have just about everything I could ever want just today. You're all here with me. Tina, David. Oh, my God. Where's Tina? I haven't seen Tina all day. She's downstairs taking care of the flowers. Oh, thank God. Where's David? Yeah, I don't know. I haven't seen him all morning. Yeah, it's funny because uh, I was talking to Tina downstairs, and I mentioned David's name, and she got the weirdest look on her face. I tell you, Kevin, I am a very happy person today. Well, it is really nice to see you laughing and smiling again. How come you're not? Oh, I'm happy. <laughs> I really am. It's just, you know... Kevin, sweetheart. I know that you're very worried about me and about Sloan and what's coming. 
I know that, and I appreciate it. But, sweetheart, you have to know that I realize how difficult it's going to be. And I also know I have to I have to be there for him. I have to see him through this. Oh, you know, I, I just worry. It's just that the last time something like this happened... Sweetheart, the last time something like this happened, my daughter Megan died, and I was okay. It wasn't easy, but I was okay. And I have been ever since, and I've been through a lot since then. And I think I'm a lot stronger now. All right? Okay. Yeah. Grand Central Station here today. Hi. Hi. Okay, Kevin. Girl stuff. Um, take a powder. Uh, <laughs> no problem. I'm out of here. I'll see you downstairs. I love you. I love you, honey. Ta-da. Oh! Something old, borrowed, and blue. How's that for economy? You are clever. That's mm -hmm. mother's antique brooch. Yes. yes. You gave it to me. And now I'm loaning it to you. And now Jesse gave you your flowers, right? And that's for something new part. I'm all set. Thank you. I really love you, Tina. I love you, too. That's nice. When you consider the rocky start we got off to, it's nice that we're this close now, isn't it? Yeah, isn't it nice? Yeah, it really is nice. Uh, I wish you all the happiness that I'm feeling today. And soon. <laughs> yeah, well, you never know. I know you've had a lot of disappointments with men, sweetheart, but you mustn't give up on love, okay? Because somewhere out there is the perfect man for you, and he's just waiting. And when you find him, you're going to be happy. I promise you. Vicky, I know you're right. I am going to be as happy as you. And soon, too. Napoleon once said, you cannot convince a soldier to risk life and limb for king nor country, but he will die willingly for a piece of colored ribbon. <laughs> <laughs> they still look mighty impressive, General. Oh, yeah. I'll bet Sloan's a lot more nervous now than he ever was during any of his campaigns. Yeah, yeah. Well, you got me there, Bev. Well, I say that we get river and we all head out to landfill. All right, yes, before we do, I would like to say something, please. Uh, I know I put you three through hell when I asked you to help me lie to Vicky, and it was wrong. And I am sorry. Sloan. Well, I could see the kind of pain it caused to do what you did. But I could always also see that, well, how much you loved me. And that knowledge made me happy. Well, I'm glad somebody was. <laughs> I'm only going to say this once, and uh, I'd appreciate it if you'd just listen. Uh, uh, I have no illusions about my condition. I certainly hope to win a few more battles, but in the end, the disease, the disease is going to win the war. I don't want you to feel sorry for me. Please. I've been very fortunate. I didn't expect to live this long. And in the time I've been given, I have learned so much about love, devotion, and compassion. Because of Vicky and you three, I'm a very lucky man. So, why are we standing here? We have a wedding to attend. <laughs> Feeling nervous? I guess so. Uh, nervous enough that I don't think I could spell the word. <laughs> uh, I can. S L O A N. Uh, it was really lovely that you could all be here. We're going to have a small reception before the wedding. Uh, where's Vicki? Isn't it bad luck to see the bride before the wedding? <laughs> uh, don't worry. I don't think anything bad could happen today. I feel so happy. Thank <laughs> you. 